Let's have a quick look at coal processing. What is coal? An organic rock that consists mainly of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and in other mineral matter, of course. Now, these materials can then be used in different processes, and that is what's happening during coal processing. First of all, the coal needs to be removed from the earth crust. And they basically divide it into two groups of mining. We have the underground mining and then the surface mining. Underground mining uh, is basically all below, or uh, most of them is uh, below ground level. The shaft mining, which is very deep. Uh, slope mining, at the slope of the, 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 the hill or wherever the, the coal is found. Uh, drift mining, that is above ground level, but all of these is more deeper. Then you have the surface mining that is closer and easier to remove. You have mountain top mining, contour mining all around on contours, uh, Alber mining, where it is working, functioning like a draw that's entering, and then they remove the coal in that way. And then area mining, that is, we know it very well here, close to us in the area, they do the, 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 the area mining. Now, that is basically just to give us an idea of all the different types of mining. Now, when we are looking at the processing of the, the coal, first we have to say, we just clean here. In South Africa, we have lots of coal. We have uh, very large coal reserves, uh, and every year we have 170 million tons of coal that is mined and then processed further, uh, of which most of uh, the, the, the coal is used by ESCOM, as we know very well, to produce electricity. Uh, the other uh, company that uses a lot of the coal is Sasol and other chemical industries. Certain metallurgical processes make use of the coal. So we, there, there is a wide variety of areas where we use the coal. And according to what the geologists uh, found, we still have enough coal for the next 200 years. Uh, although, as we can see, it is really an issue for the environment. And what are these issues? It's basically in global warming and acid rain. So yeah, from the coal, we have, you have those problems and we have to deal with that and we have to minimize that. And to do that, coal need to be less used in all our processes. Now, what are the basic important processes that we have to have a look at for the processing of coal? There's three processes. Combustion, which we already mentioned here for ESCOM. What happened during combustion? The coal is basically burned in oxygen and it's providing a lot of energy. In the case of ESCOM now, that energy is then used to heat water in boilers and the steam that is created in that way turns uh, a, a, a turbines around and those turbines then uh, work like generators and they produce electricity that we are using. So that's basically happening during the combustion process. So what do we need to have a look at? In the combustion of the coal. We are going to have a look at which processes of the combustion feeding is best. Um, what is going to give you most energy so that you have more steam developed. Uh, which processes will give you less waste gases uh, that is now released into the atmosphere. So that is basically the combustion. Then we need to have a look at destructive distillation in a certain sense a little bit 
to the opposite of combustion because in combustion we have the coal, which is our fuel here, that is mixed with air and then the combustion is taking place. It is fired and uh, the combustion is occurring and that's where the energy comes from. In destructive distillation, the coal is heated, but it is heated in the absence of air, so that you do not have combustion. You don't want the coal to, the coal to burn. And when they do that, when they heat the coal and there's no air, we find that different types of products are formed. There's a, a solid products formed, liquid and gas products come from that. The solid that you have from this is basically the coke that is used in uh, metallurgical processes like the blast furnace for the um, extraction of iron from iron ore. You know that process very well. Then it is used, uh, uh, it is, it is uh, uh, producing coal tar and it is producing gases like ammonia. Ammonia vapors that come from this. Uh, not very pure, but yeah. It is, it is found from the destructive distillation process. And then the last one, and also a very important one, is the gasification of the coal. And during gasification, the coal is mixed with oxygen, uh, with steam, with carbon uh, dioxide, with hydrogen, and different mixtures of these then is combined together to create other hydrocarbons that can then be used, as we know, for fuel, for gasoline, for, for petrol, for diesel, um, for uh, jet fuel, and a variety of products. So during the gasification, product, uh, gasification of the coal, the different pro uh, products can be separated from each other also by a fractional uh, distillation process, just like the one we discussed for uh, fractional distillation of air mixture to uh, produce nitrogen and oxygen. Now, in the gasification, it's just different uh, types of hydrocarbons that is then produced from that coal mixture together with all the other products. So, that's basically what we are going to have a look at. Just to give you an overview and that makes it easier if we know where we are aiming it's easier to follow the, 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 the things that is discussed so underneath the combustion then we are going to have a look at how it is fired and which process is giving us the best results there in destructive distillation we are going to have a look at what happened during the process of destructive distillation uh, what is the properties of a good type of coke uh, what are other products that can be uh, produced in that way and in gasification we are going to have a look at the synthol reactor, the uh, Fischer-Tropsch uh, process uh, that we make use of at Sassel. So that is uh, just to give you an idea and then we'll have to have a look at each one of them specifically and more in detail. But up to here then the overview for the code processing.